Hey guys, it's Saul from House of Gaia Pythons. Uh, so it's in this week's video, basically, we're going to be going over my latest clutch. Um, this is our biggest clutch we've had so far. Um, it's not the biggest clutch by any means, but it's the biggest one we've had so far. So we got nine eggs, um, and that is from our fire clown to our yellow belly female. Um, I'm super stoked on this pairing. It's not the craziest thing, but uh, I really like fire yellow belly clowns. So this is kind of the step in that in that direction. So we're hoping to hit some fire yellow belly pet clown females. Um, so before we jump into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Jason from Abe's, Abe's Exotic Reptiles. Uh, thanks so much for the shirt and stickers, man. I really appreciate it. So if you guys aren't following uh, Jason yet, make sure to go hit, give him a follow on Instagram. He has some absolutely insane animals growing up, uh, as well as some um, some nice breeder animals uh, that he's he's been putting to work this year. So he's going to have some absolutely amazing stuff. If you're not following him already, uh, through his Instagram on the bottom here, as well as all of his info will be in the description below. So check him out for sure. And he's not slacking on the back. He's got that cool little symbol at the top. So again, thanks again, man. I really appreciate the shirt. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's jump right into the video, guys.
right guys, well I hope you enjoyed the egg pulling video. Um, so we're getting super stoked on stuff here. Um, as you can tell, like I was saying, that's our biggest clutch yet. Not by much, like the, our heck clown girl gave us eight eggs, so it's not really that crazy. I know there's been, I've seen clutches out there that are 14, even 16 eggs. So um, by no means is it massive, but to me it was cool just to see that many eggs, uh, especially because I wasn't expecting this yellow belly girl to have that many. Um, when I do ultrasounds near the end, I don't count how many eggs she's gonna have or follicles or anything like that. I, I'm simply just checking the size. I like some element of surprise in terms of how many I'm gonna be getting, so um, I just kind of leave it be. So that was an awesome surprise. Uh, and as you can see in the thumbnail, they were really stacked. So it just, it looked like she had a massive amount. Uh, she's the first girl we actually put in our new ARS as you guys watched uh, last week. Um, so she's still doing good. She's just chilling at the back there. And um, we're about to give her her first feed on Saturday. Um, I fed, uh, the day I fed last was the day she laid. So I was like, I'm not gonna feed her the day that she laid. Uh, either way, I think she's gonna do well because that day she was already ready for a rat. I could just tell. So I think she's she's gonna get back onto food just like I did with the first two girls. They, they went right back onto food, which is just fantastic. Um, so that, that has been great. And uh, just a little update on how, we, how we're doing uh, for the season. So far, we have three clutches in the incubator. Um, you can go check out my past videos to see what's cooking. And then uh, we have three gravid females right now, as well as three females who are probably in that 30 plus millimeter range of follicle size. So I expect them to, to probably go as well. So at the moment, we're looking like we're probably gonna have nine clutches for this year. And then I still have five uh, females beyond that who could, who could go a little bit later. So. The season's looking good. We're super stoked. Um, appreciate you guys all for watching. Don't forget to stay positive and focused out there. And um, we'll see you guys next Saturday.